Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well, I worked on this lawnmower, so it's only had one season, and they started having trouble near the end of the season, exactly like the year before. And then I just, what I did on this lawnmower up to now, was all the same things I did to it the last time it came in. So I'm thinking now it might have uh, valves that aren't quite closing. It's a flathead. So I am just going to turn it around and we're going to take off the muffler and have a quick look at the valves. Where can we put you so you're not in the way, but you can still see? Whew! That guy must have been going 50 miles an hour down my back alley. Okay, let's just start poking away here. Good. There's the exhaust port. Now let's just get a small brush. Plastic maybe. We have to get to the valve door. Okay, so there's two bolts. One run there and one right up in there. And we're going to take those off. Once we get the cylinder to top dead center on the compression stroke. So let's get that little door off. Lovely. Okay, that's exhaust. Intake. Compression. And a quarter of an inch further. Okay, now we get to see how much gap we have. It's right here. Well, clearances. Alright, I took the cover off to get the model number. The model is 12H802 and the year is 2000, May 26th. That's on the code list. Right there. Put the date on every one. To countries are harder to find the date. And on this one, as per check chart, it's very hard to read, exhaust. 9 and intake 7. There's 9. Okay, that should fit in there. And it does. Okay. So what's happening? Do we have a bad head gasket? And the other one was 7, right? 7, right there. Intake is 7. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. What is it? So the exhaust is perfect. Let's get a thin one. See if it fits. This one is... Let's go to six. Let's check the four thousand. The four thousands just fits. And intake is supposed to be seven. Man, that's a tough one, you guys. Tough one, guys. It's at four thousands and the book says seven thousands. But at high RPMs, it might not be opening quite far enough, eh? So let's just do a thing here. This is uh, Quantum 101 we're in here. Okay, we need a 3.8 now. Oh, we've got to get the uh, dipstick off. Good. And then there'll be four three eights. One. And my buddy David Kernut, he also suggested to check the uh, check the flywheel key. 
Okay, let's just pull this off. 15 16 that's what weird. It's been a while, guys. Good. Now let's get some air and blow that sawdust off that flywheel key inspection hole. Yeah, no, it's okay. Hmm, okay. Head gasket. Take that off right now. Okay, so we need a half inch. Might as well, do we dare use this? a bit too much muscle. Let's try this. I think we can put this cup back on. Okay, let's get this head gasket off of here. We might be able to just take the whole the whole thing off with the bolts and everything and clean it up that way. Looks really good actually. It might just be that valve adjustment. That head gasket looks really good. Okay, I'm going to clean the carbon off this ever so lightly. This is a wire brush, but I, I've learned to do this over the years and you just go so slow lightly. So I don't think I need a. I don't think I need a uh, head gasket. It looks good. So uh, it is going to be just this one valve that needs to be uh, adjusted. Right there. So let's get our valve removing tool. Oops. Wrong door. I'll go this way. Almost, eh? Oh, it's perfectly, perfectly positioned for me. I'll show you that in a minute. That's all there is to it, baby. Right there. I only have to take three or four thousandths off of here, eh? That's not very much. That's like... That much. <laughs> off of there. 
That's not even into the bevel, eh? And I'm going to use my grinder. I don't know if you guys should come and watch this gong show or not. I'll be right there. Okay, I've cleaned off that top of the uh, cylinder and the piston. It's really good. No carbon left. Maybe a little bit. I'll work on that again. And I'm doing the head over here same way. Almost. This was completely black. And I'm just working on the little grooves. With a uh, little bit of car cleaner. A wire brush. Some elbow grease. Here, you might as well have a little small look. And I'm just getting in the grooves now, baby. And now we're getting somewhere. So that's what I'm doing. We're going to work that down. Although it's almost already good enough. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. That's going to have to do. Good. Now, I gotta take three thousandths off that valve. Let's take you over there. So this contraption is my homemade jack press. I made it out of an old, ancient, really heavy metal uh, equipment rack for communications, right? Here's the, there's the jack and the springs for returning. I guess I could just, this, this is actually a point of interest. Um, and these, these bars can be adjusted to any one of these holes, not the little holes, but the bigger holes all the way down. So you can put something pretty big in there, and uh, believe me, the jack is big enough, because way back in the day I bent it and had to put on a new top and then some, some bracing bars. So anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for a valve grind. Right? There, and I tell you, you don't want to take off much. I didn't. I said not even into the bevel, right? Now I don't have blocks, but Steve OJ is giving me a bench grinder that will be able to do this, and I'll be able to make a square block out of something like this to hold the valve oops, to hold the valve square but for now I just do it the old fashioned way baby Right there. Looks good. So now we're going to come back over here and measure the distance because we're still at top dead center just a skosh past. We're going to measure the valve lash here. You don't need the spring in for that. I'm looking for seven thousandths. Right there, I believe. Zero, zero, seven. If it's in that ballpark, I'll be happy. Oh, that's pretty dang close. 
I might take out just to take off a little bit more because I'm also going to lap that valve. Eh? Oh, that's a small one. Zero zero seven. Let's double check everything all the time, guys. Oh, that's good. There aren't enough O's and smooth to describe that. Now we're going to lap it. So do we lap the exhaust valve too? Hmm. See, it rotates and goes back and forth. You getting a good shot of that? Right there. Okay. Those valves are easier than a Tecumseh because they have a cup. Good enough. I think that's all you need. Now, let's look at that bevel. Get a rag. And there should be a gray line around that valve now. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. I'm gonna just recheck my my depth. And then I gotta think about the other valve. Oh, that's perfect. Hmm. Gotta clean out the seat. Then I can stick this valve back in. Just a tiny drop of oil on that. And we'll see if we can catch that valve with the spring. Nothing's easy, guys. Here, now we should be able to turn that over. Exhaust, intake, compression. And I'm going to just take another measurement. Because you can't, you don't want to mess this up, right? There, it's tighter. But it's good. Yeah. I like it. Okay, the only thing we have to find out is uh, if we're going to do anything to that exhaust valve. Right there. We're going to have a look at it. Well. 
I'm going to take it out and just lap it. Things are going so well. There we go. I'm just going to clean this valve up on the wire brush. Yes, sir, we bob. Yeah. Okay, so this valve's really dirty. I'm glad I pulled it out. I'm going to do the same thing to it, but I'm going to clean up this valve on the wire brush as well. Okay, I did the, I did the exhaust valve exactly the same as the intake valve. I didn't have the camera on for all of that. Now let's have a look at this nice valve. It looked so awful when we first when we first did it. Cleanliness is the most important thing. You got to get your hands dirty. Good. We are ready for reassembly. Okay, I'm going to turn you off, take a break, and we'll come back. All right. These are the head bolts. They look pretty bad. As you can see, I'm just buffing them on the uh, wire brush side of my grinder here. Like that. All right. We're torquing the head gasket on. Uh, the little piece of paper, the uh, Briggs, that's a great sheet. It has everything. 140 inch pounds so I've gone one round I converted it to foot pounds and I've gone one round at about nine foot pounds and the second round at around 13 foot pounds and that's where we are right now crisscross pattern right And as long as you're crisscross, I don't think there's any danger. All right, here's an old timer's trick. I'm sure Wayne and the guys know about this one. Head gaskets on, spark plugs in, we have compression. We haven't put the little door on here yet. But, okay, we can feel the compression coming around. That's the exhaust side. As soon as we get the magnets close to the uh, ignition, uh, we should be nearing compression there we are right we're just passing compression I can feel it and now we're past compression I'm gonna turn this backwards and it should catch if I turn it backwards see that so that's just an old timer trick not bad huh now we are going to put the little door on oh we're gonna wipe this side This is actually a really nice motor. You know, some of them are different. The older ones have different style gaskets and stuff. This is the breather that comes from the uh, carburetor where it takes the fumes out of the out of the mess. Did I show you that well enough? No, I didn't. So right here, this hole right there is the breather and it goes over to the front and the carburetor sucks the uh, built up crankcase gases into the engine uh, into the carburetor from the engine same as blow by okay I wonder if we got this, you guys. Okay. What else should we look at while we got this open? I did this last year, so there shouldn't be any loose bolts. This is the intake manifold. It comes from the carburetor right here. 
I always give these oh, a little tweak, eh? And I think that's it. Oh, this comes down through here and onto there. We're not going to put it on just yet. When I forget it later, you can laugh at me. Good. Okay. Four, three eighths bolts. Sometimes they're different lengths and sometimes they're not. These ones are all the same. We'll tighten them. Up. Oh, we'll, get, we'll tighten them after we get them on. I wonder how it's going to run. It's going to run. Doing everything twice. I don't have to do the next ones twice because they're only 516. Okay. So one for the dipstick now. Are they, are they the same? It's the greasy bally one for the dipstick. 516. screws left and there's no more parts. Okay, now I did spill a little gas from the tank when I tilted the lawnmower. Oh, hello! Hello, what we got? cookies. You got cookies for me? Just gonna... Andy's, car goes. Andy's car's out front, remember? <gasps> Are you ready? Yeah. Easy made them. This is me that the wheel. best cookies I've ever had. Uncle says they're good cookies. Mm -hmm. they are good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Thank you for the cookies. Isn't she good? Can I have another cookie? Yes. They're very good cookies. <laughs> Why they come right here? <gasps> Back together. It's a lawnmower and a camera. The camera's taking a picture of the lawnmower. The lawnmower cuts the grass. She mm -hmm. licked the bowl and licked the spoons and dried the dishes. You must licked the bowl? Yeah. And dried the dishes? No, you didn't dry the dishes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. For, thank you. You're welcome. And then we um, went downstairs and played for a little bit and then we came up and had cookies. Well, thanks for coming said, out to my garage. She says, we have, oh, where's Uncle? He needs cookies. I do, and thank you very much. They were good. Do you want more? Uh, I'm going to, that was, that one there? Well, this is Hazley's. Can, oh. you, can you have your cookie? Can I have it? Yeah. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, that's so nice. She had a here. Priming. Oh, hey, look at it. Let's plug that in. See if we have priming. Yeah, we got priming. So that should start, guys. A couple more. This is the scary part, you know. I had the valves out. Find out what that surging is. Thanks. <laughs>